touched now. We've got back to four to one now. Eleven to two, nineteen, Jaffet. Fifteen to two is six, Frosty Canyon. In fact, seven to one, eight, Harbour Pilot. Ten to one, fourteen, Maximize. Twelve to one, both twenty, Jimmy Tennis, and eighteen, Valley Henry. Fourteen to one, Tony McCoy's luck is no good. Sixteen to one, number eleven, Inox. Twenty-five to one, one Arctic Jack. Fifteen, Risk Accessor, and sixteen, Silver Streak, and thirty-three and upwards, others. Away then for this Royal of Sun Alliance chase towards the first fence. Maximise on the inside of Harbour Pilot, Valley Henry in the light green jacket out wide, possibly just the first to rise. They're all safely over Arctic Jack, jumped it in last place as they turn left handed in front of the stands. And it's Maximise from Valley Henry, then uh, Chives into third now, then uh, Harbour Pilot on the inside of Inox and Hazar Lange, then Jimmy Tennis, and behind Jimmy Tennis. Is, is no good and give over as they clear the next. Slap down the neck on landing there for Colonel Branston on the inside. Jaffet, the big French horse, is out wide, strained early on, is no good, also held up a bit worse than midfield with Silver Streak. A man on the hill anchored today, often makes the running. Out the back, Father McCartan, Arctic Jack, his storm and risk assessor. And the first in the back straight, Valley Henry is down at that. Valley Henry takes a fall when up with the pace. The other horses did well to avoid him. The horse, Valley Henry, is up all right. The rider still down. They head towards the water jump, at which it was Inox, just the first to rise, and the red on the outside of, of Maximize. Just looking back, Timmy Murphy. So he's about to get to his feet. Meanwhile, the leaders head towards an open ditch. Inox and Maximize, followed by Chives. All safety over that. Arctic Jack made a mistake at the back. Give over in the grey jacket is handy. Southern Star on the near side as they approach the next plane fence. And Inox takes this well. Give over makes a mistake at that. Silver Streak very nearly went back in the pack. And it's Inox and Maximize disputing the running. And now they head towards another big fence. This open ditch going up the hill. Southern Star is third on the inside of Give Over and then Chives. And then Hussar Colange out wide. Jaffet has moved up. Uh, just got a bit uh, unsighted there, Jaffet jumping the ditch. But uh, goes on safely as they make the top turn. Harbour Pilot is uh, turning left-handed behind me. There's Timmy Murphy limping away after that fall from Valley Henry. Hopefully he's all right. Father McCartan, meanwhile, has been pulled up. Back with the race as they run downhill towards the next. And it's Maximise on the inside of Inox. And uh, then uh, on the outside, wide out, is Jaffet in the noseband, wide of Hazar Collange. And then Chives give over and Southern Star and behind Southern Star on the outside, it is no good. Risk Assessor's picked up a bit of ground, then Colonel Braxton back on the inside from Harbour Pilot, followed by Frosty Canyon. A gap after Frosty Canyon to Man on the Hill and Arctic Jack and Jimmy Tennis out the back with Silver Streak. At the next tricky fence, that's taken a few casualties. The leaders jump it safely, they're all safely over, and it's Inox who just leads the way to maximise with Hazard Collange and the Mo Sleeve jacket on the outside. Jaffet is in fourth. Behind Jaffet is Southern Star and then Chives. Harbour Pilot chases up these in about seventh place with Colonel Braxton getting a, a good run round on the inside as they jump the fence in front of the stands with just over a circuit to go. They're getting quite strung out. Jimmy Tennis is right out the back and Silver Streak, Streak is labouring as well. So they run up hill towards the next plane fence. We're just under a circuit to go and it's Maximise and Inox and Hazard Collange three in a line, Jaffet in four, Chives is fifth and then Southern Star, followed by Is No Good wide of Harbour Pilot, Colonel Braxton, Norman Williamson right on the inside of Frosty Canyon who's being pushed along by Dean Gallagher, a gap to risk assessor, Arctic Jack under pressure, Man on the Hill next, give overs lost places, Historg right out of it with Silver Streak and Jimmy Tennis, downhill to the next plane fence first in the back straight, the leaders sail over and Harbour Pilot has unseated the rider at that. Harbour Pilot is out of the race and unfortunately the rider seemed to get a kick in the uh, head on the uh, by one of the following horses, Paul Carberry. We'll try and update you on him in a moment. Meanwhile, Enox puts his hind legs in the water jump there, Enox, and loses ground. Hazar Collange and Maximise disputing it with Jaffet in third place. Chives is four. Then is no good on the outside, Tony McCoy. Colonel Braxton has moved off the inside now with Southern Star just behind him. 
continuing on the far side of the course then Paul Carberry seems to be sitting up meanwhile they jump this next obstacle and up with the leaders Hazard Collange and Maximize followed by Chives is no good Jafet in fifth place Colonel Braxton is being pushed along to try and gather in the leading group risk assessor and JP McManus's colors getting into the race now on the outside goes sick over this ditch Hazard Collange drag the hind legs through it lands just ahead of Maximize and then Chives Jafet has had a lovely run round Benoit Giquel in fourth place as out wide of him is is no good in the blue sleeve jacket as they reach the top of the hill with three fences to jump Colonel Braxton is three or four lengths off the leading group followed then by Risk Assessor and Frosty Canyon a gap to Southern Star Inox who made that desperate mistake at the water looks like being pulled up downhill towards the final three fences then and it's Hazard Collange, Maximize still there on the rail, Jafet coming there strongly for France, Chives and is no good over three out, and the leading five or six chased by Risk Assessor and Colonel Braxton, they've got two left to go, Hazard Collange, Jafet is now humming under pressure on the right of frame, is no good out wide for the Pipe McCoy partnership, then Chives back in fourth place, two out, Hazard Collange, Jafet a terrible fall, he was under pressure there, the French horse, he fell heavily, and this leaves Hazard Collange clear of is no good as they run towards the final turn chives is back in third they're well strung out behind with maximize fourth then risk assessor and colonel braxton hazard collage is no good under the mccoy drive is trying to mount a renewed challenge as the leaders wilting in front in third is chives hazard collage jumps the last fence with a two-leg lead over is no good hazard collage and russ garrity mccoy chasing in second on is no good then chives is in third, Hazard Collange is keeping on willingly as they run inside the final 50 yards up the final hill. Hazard Collange holding is no good. Hazard Collange goes on to win it. From in second is no good. Chives is third. Frosty Canyon stayed on in fourth. Then Colonel Braxton and Maximize. There aren't too many other finishers because there are a lot pulled up. Uh, before the final fence, Inox pulled up, also give over, Southern Star, Arctic Jack, man on the hill, all these pulled up, and uh, there was a casualty at the final fence as well. We'll update you on that. Hazard Collange, the 33 to one winner here in the colors of Mr. NWA Bannister, trained by Peter Beaumont, who of course enjoyed great success at the Cheltenham Festival in the past with Jadami, and Russ Garrity in the saddle on this seven-year-old blows for punters in the last couple of races il namar followed by hussar collange at 33 to 1 uh, paid 72 pounds 10 on the tote places 1280 380 and 960 exact at 2226 pounds and 20